Uh, one of the importances of selecting wood for your project would be uh, first most you might want uh, a look, a certain kind of look in your home. And you may want to have something maybe in an 18th century style. So you're going to end up going with mahoganies and walnuts and maybe even cherries, things like that, uh, curly maples, that type of thing to, to adorn your home the way you want to have it done. And if you um, do things like, let's say, uh, uh, you wanted a more modern styles of furniture, you might go with the maples, the lighter woods, uh, curly maples, that kind of thing. That would give you a nice, uh, a nice look for those kind of lighter lines that you might want to have for your, for your home. Uh, all the woods are very durable. The only one that I would say is the least durable would be your pines, your softer woods, only because they're easier to ding. And uh, uh, cherry is extremely hard, probably harder than any of the woods. But it depends on where you're going to use it, what you're going to use it for, what rooms you're going to use it, what kind of style your house is. Uh, if you're going to use it out on a boat, then you're going to be thinking about stuff like teaks and mahoganies. You're going to want something that's, not, that's impervious to rot. You don't want wood that would quickly rot with you out on the, on, you know, in the salt. So uh, I would tend to go with the teaks or I'd uh, go with mahoganies uh, when I was doing anything. It had to be near water. And uh, gates, like outdoor gates, things like that, I would use. I use mahogany uh, on gates that we've built, you know, for like the Cornwallis house downtown. Uh, we built out all their exterior gates. Even though they were painted, we built them out of mahogany because we didn't want them to rot. And so, um, and and then you can use a wood treatment on there that will also keep that wood impervious to your water.